Hey everybody, this is Pete. And in this video, I want to share a tip on reducing the AutoCAD layout loads inside of Inventor when using the factory design utilities. So what I've got here is a 2D layout, including a two-dimensional view of a Revit building and a simple layout. Uh, I've X referenced the 2D layout into my layout model so I can see the building and just the layout factory assets. I'm not going to get into the discussion on what X referencing is for the sake of time, and I have already pre built the layout in AutoCAD and synced it over to Inventor. However, if you are curious about what X referencing can be used for in the factory design utilities, let me know in the comments below and we can maybe knock out a video on that. But here's a simple layout, and as I said, I've synch synchronized it over to 3D. And when you synchronize the 2D layout, it also brings over the X reference building model. So this isn't necessarily bad, but some of these building models can be very large. Like this is a pretty small building, little shop, but some of them can be huge layouts. Some of them are campuses that encompass many different buildings and so it, we just don't need to bog down Inventor with all that detail. So to give you a point of reference, this simple layout, including that AutoCAD layout uh, drawing, is 605 kilobytes. So I'm going to go back to AutoCAD and the tip is I can use the X reference when I need to and then turn it off when it's not required. So you could detach it if you want, but I'm just going to unload it. And by unloading this and saving it, now if I go over to Inventor, or I can try to sync back, but I, I noticed it's already prompting me for a local update. So I change that, save this file, and then let's take a look at the file size. So if we look at the I properties now, so now it dropped down to 500 0.5 kilobytes. So it's actually like one, we've lost like one sixth of the size. It doesn't seem like much, but if this was a larger layout, that AutoCAD load would be significant. So <clears throat> that's the tip. The reason why this can be successful is I can jump over to a program like Navisworks and I can aggregate all the data together. So here is the actual Revit model, which that 2D layout is based on. And if I append my 3D model, this shouldn't take more than just a couple minutes. And what it's doing is, or a couple moments, it's taking that 3D model and it's compressing it into the Navisworks cache file. And there you can see it's in place. So in my opinion, Navisworks is a better place to put all the 3D data anyway because now I can immerse myself in it, I can do walkthroughs, and I can add 3D commentary, uh, redlining, I can do clash detective. So it's just a really great place to load all the data. So even though I don't see the 2D floor plan in Inventor, because I used it in AutoCAD, I can be assured that it's gonna show up in the right place in the final Navisworks model. So I hope you found that helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know and have a blessed day.